It may have camouflage. Should I go look? No, let's just turn back around. Right. Because I don't hear it anymore. That for sure, Buck. Yeah. Feel yeah. better though? As oh, far feel as better, yeah. Alright, good. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. No, you're okay, man. Yeah, dude, that thing is like probably on the side of the road, dude. Oh, no. Yeah. That's right, we'll go find it. No, it's, it's probably like in pieces. No, oh, the belt. No, the belt. Yeah, that's, that's not very surprising. <laughs> All right, what's up guys? I know it's been a long time since I've made a video and that is because my 46 is broken and the 36 is also broken. Today, Mitch is actually picking up a 2J for his E36. We're gonna go to JD in Orlando. So I thought you guys would be interested in seeing that. So this is gonna be sick. He's gonna get a 2J for the E36. No more M52 in that thing. So we're actually gonna try and keep it fairly stock, stock harness, stock turbos for right now. Just get it working and driving with a low, low horsepower, low stress build. It'll be nice to learn how to 2J swap an E36 and we're gonna have a lot of videos on that, the whole build process. So stay tuned. If you haven't already, click that subscribe button. There's gonna be a lot of content coming your guys' way. So yeah, if you guys saw my last video, you will have seen that the water pump literally came off of the block. So yeah, hopefully it's salvageable. Yeah, just kind of died. So, let's see what we got going on here. The block, unfortunately, does not appear to be salvageable. As you can see, big crack right here just completely broke off, and then the bolts are stuck into the block. So yeah, this, this water pump from Bimmer World has the metal impeller, and the housing decided to give way. So when it was sitting here and when the housing decided to give way, it went like this. So it yanked the bolts out of the block and then because the belt was pulling against it, pushed it against the block and decided when it has a, a heavy clutch fan on it and stuff, when this breaks in the back, all the force and everything decided to just shimmy that way and then it broke that unfortunately. My radiator has a hole in it now, so gonna have to probably source a new block or new engine for this which is very very unfortunate because it still starts and everything i've thought of putting maybe an an fitting in there i don't know i really don't think that'll work so unfortunately we're gonna have to yank this thing out again which sucks and that's why you guys have not seen any video of this thing in a little bit so yeah she needs some love so you guys are looking at the new daily for a little bit we got new fenders for the thing we got some spiciness right here because the fuel tank has a hole in it now i don't know if you guys saw that in my compound video bro what is going on right now like actually but we kind of patched that up for a temporary use and then it finally gave way again so this is a surge tank so i won't be bogging on the oval anymore it won't fuel cut or anything i'll have a teaspoon of fuel in this thing and it still won't fuel cut so that's why i decided to get that and then back here on a little race car out here and we got a fuel cell for this thing so we're going to run two of these bosch 44 pumps one from the surge tank, one for the external. So there's gonna be a video on that very soon. Should be getting this whole thing tidied up. So stay tuned for that. I'm gonna be driving this thing around. I guess it, I've done it before, so it shouldn't be too bad. But it is very hot in Florida and I have no AC, but I'll live with it. I also have hood pins coming in the mail. So this thing's gonna be attached on there finally. I like the hoodless look and whatever, but I've had this hood just sitting and not doing anything so i might as well put it to some use and yeah just get some 
single stage white on here, single stage white on the fenders. I don't even care for these fenders anymore. But yeah, this thing should look pretty decent. It's gotta look, you know, presentable. But yeah, enough of that talking. I just wanted to give you guys an update on everything, what's going on with the cars. Sorry, it's been a little bit for uploading. I told you guys in the last video, if you watched to the end, that it's gonna be a bit before I upload because yeah, I have, I'm just kind of stranded right now. So yeah, let's just get to Orlando now and pick up that 2J. Yo, why is the GoPro cracked, bro? I don't know, Isaiah, why is it cracked, bro? On top of the 350Z. I pulled up to the question of the event. The guy like told me to warm up my tires. Like the guy, like the tight guy. He didn't say there was a GoPro on my roof. He's like, oh yeah, go do a burnout. And, and that shit went flying, dude. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Just like the, the valves will leak. It's just a matter of how much. Yep. So like in all seriousness, like this. So we're gonna have to give Calvin a call and see what's good. I've used I've used it only with that. That's why I said that. Bitch is mobbing there, bro. Uh, SR? Yeah, there's an SR right up there. Bro, I feel like we're in a candy shop right now. Oh, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a huge Oh, you have the Allen key for that? Sure. Um, I did not. I thought it was 10 mils. I did not know that. I would have bought my Allen key. Check the ECU for me real quick. See if it's anything different. Here, I'll check it for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ready, baby? Yeah. Here. We ready. This is just yep. the beginning right here. Picking this thing up. I can't wait until this thing's in your engine bay. It looks... I love so that. Like, I love that valve cover. It's mounted in the engine bay. Stock turbos on this bitty. Yeah, sorry about that. I bought like four, but not oh, ten mils. I didn't know this. As long as you put it back together, I do not mind. Yeah, I touched the single wire and nothing else, and it really stuck. Like I didn't even touch it to that. Where so. you guys from? Sarasota. Sarasota. Yeah. I mean, honestly, the right. I only tested two, and they were good. I bet it's probably good, it's just the start of the start. You probably saw it. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, you do have a 90 day warranty, so. Oh, it's 90 days? I thought it was 30 days. Yeah, unless you change it in 30 days. But if it is 30 days still, we try to yeah. work. Yeah. Yeah, we can get a starter yeah, and do a test. Yeah. Let's say yeah. you get a starter, you take it, you get a starter, you have something happen, to tell them one of the seven inches. Yeah. You yeah. always come back, we'll make sure we set up another one and pop up. Yeah, of course. Alright, I'm going to throw those three plugs back in. It's just so it doesn't get water in or anything. Uh, so Isaiah, what's going on right here? We just bought two 2Js. <laughs> GE. My boy Mitch is getting a GTE. So what I'm going to do with this one is eventually we're going to get new rods, pistons, and build the bottom end. He's getting this for a steal because the AC bracket's broken, but we don't need AC. We don't use AC Well, I mean, we need AC, but like we're not going to use it. Drift cars, boys. I mean, it would be nice because we're in Florida, but you know. Okay. Sweet. I went in two, two JV. <laughs> Not one, but two. Two of them. Maybe three, bro. And just like that, you have a two-year-old. Yes, sir. <laughs> just get the forklift. Exactly. And just like that, Isaiah, okay. you have a two-J. Just like that, we got a two-J, boys. Right. There we go. Two. Two J. That that's not easy. <laughs>
Needless to say, we were drinking last night when that decision was made. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's why I sat there in silence. I was like, okay. That's a poor Jay-Z right there. <laughs> Nico, we're gonna slide the front of it that way. And then three, two, one. Perfect. And just like that. That's it. We came here with an empty truck bed. And yeah, we came back with not an empty truck bed in two, two I say it was a successful run. I'd say it was an impulse buy, definitely on Isaiah's car. Bro, but it was a, you where else are you gonna find one that had a good deal? So You're gonna be happy, Isaiah, don't worry. Yeah, I was like thinking about this, I was just like, you know what? about how much we're paying us, it's going to be slow. Um, Tie technician, ratchet strap technician. Ratchet yes, strap expert. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right, bro. Look at that. Professional right Professional. There. Through, through. Look at that. It's professionally done. Exactly. So there to there, yep. What would we do without Thomas, bro? Honestly. Wait until Keith sees this. Oh, man, he's going to have a cow. I'm going to have to buy him over to the store gym on Monday. <laughs> <laughs> Keith is my Amanda. He has a Supra now. He's like 2J by the Really? Yeah. What? He loves his 2Js. He loves them. What? His 2J makes 500 bucks. Yeah, I don't know That's cool. That's comfortable. Uh, never. It has over 200,000 miles on it. The motor has never been pulled. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. I like that. Now wait. You guys are stressing, bro. He's. He's a certified. I'm certified. Certified. That's what I'm talking about right there. Perfect. Just falls over, breaks everything. Yeah, I mean, 